Good afternoon, everybody. We are um, picking it back up in Matthew. We um, are in chapter 27, and we finished yesterday talking about uh, what happened to Judas. After they delivered Jesus up, he felt so bad that he threw the 30 pieces of silver, which is what um, the uh, scribes and elders had paid him to uh, betray Jesus. He threw that into the temple and they couldn't spend it because it was blood money so they bought the potter's field um, which is where they throw all the broken pottery which is symbolic of our our broken um, flesh and and that uh, Jesus puts all back together for us all so we will pick it up there and they had just taken him to um, Pilate so quick word Lord, we ask you for wisdom and understanding as we go to your word. Um, please bless us with eyes to see and ears to hear. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Uh, chapter 27, verse 11. And Jesus stood before the governor. And the governor asked him, saying, Art thou the king of the Jews? And Jesus said unto him, Thou sayest, you, you sayest I am. And when he was accused of the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing. Then said Pilate unto him, Hearest thou not how many things they witness against thee? And he answered him to never a word. He never said anything. Insomuch that the governor marveled greatly. He couldn't believe it. Now at that feast, the governor, and I, this is Passover, the governor was to um, release unto the people a prisoner. This was part of their tradition that they did every year. They released one prisoner on one of the holy days, whom they would, whoever they wanted. And they had then a notable prisoner called um, Barabbas, and he was a murderer, real bad guy. Therefore, when they were gathered together, Pilate said unto them, whom will ye that I release unto you, Barabbas or Jesus, which is called Christ? And Christ means literally the anointed one. Do you want me to release this malefactor, this um, really bad guy, or the anointed one? And what do they say? For he knew that for envy they had delivered him. And when he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with that just man? For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. She had been dreaming all day about and, and knew that he was innocent. But the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas um, to save him and destroy Jesus. The governor answered and said unto them, Whether of the twain will ye that I release unto you? Which of the two? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate saith unto them, he, he, he didn't want to do it. He knew he was innocent too. What shall I do then with Jesus, which is called Christ? Again, the anointed one. And they all say unto him, Let him be crucified. And the governor said, Why, why, what evil hath he done? But they even cried out more, saying, Let him be crucified. They were the evil ones. And when Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, um, but that rather a tumult was made, every, that they were just going crazy and, and um, he wasn't going to be able to control this crowd, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. I don't want anything to do with it. See ye to it. You do it. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. A lot said there. And then he released Barabbas unto them. And when he had scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. And it 
leaves a little here, um, kind of skips a little there. I, I believe it's Mark, um, but I'll, I'll look for tomorrow. But he, he scourged him um, or whipped him and kind of tortured him and then brought him back again, thinking that that might satisfy him, that they might see him and go and change their minds, which they didn't. Um, but that kind of fast forwards to that occurrence. So we'll pick it up there. And um, tomorrow, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Love and blessings to you. And um, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night.